Hey, what's going on, you guys? Fat Man here. Uh, I'm some more God of War Ragnarok. I, pop, I didn't sign off last video. I didn't rage quit. I just realized how long the video drug on and just kind of stopped it. But, yep, I'm still here and I got my ass kicked like two or three more times. kicked in this fight, man. I gotta do something different here. Fucking serious. Fucking seriously. Oh man. I'm just trash. Alright. Okay. Oh, my God. 
Ouais. Jesus. Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. Okay. Damn. Question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. Enough. We will continue later. Fuck, don't get off. Seriously. Holding up black. It's good. I always knew Sentry was a great blacksmith, but this magical shield it just feels natural. The shield is well made, but it is you who wields it with skill. Hey. Considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. Rold, we will finish later. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Like, I want to hear that. I don't like I'm good enough to be using this Dauntless Shield. Atreus, I've been considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretation. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this you suffer. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All time. We really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Macbeth? Just talking about Macbeth, right? Yeah.
Come here. You said souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul? But not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Lose any one of them, and the entire being suffers. Still, sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask our father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky. Wait, is this the below? Yeah, it is. Yeah, fuck that. Amir, you were talking about how Fenrir's soul is headed for the light of Alpha. It, that's because he was a wolf, right? Aye. Were he a god or a human who died in battle, a Valkyrie would have taken him to Valhalla or Folkmoner. Had he been a human or god who died outside of battle, he'd be cast down to Helheim. But Fenrir was a wolf, so his soul will join all the others in Alfheim. With mothers? Yes. Like your mothers. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Did you, um, disinfect these? It's fine. I'll do it. Sure, this'll be of some use. Now, where'd you find this? Oh, thanks. Glad to take that off your hands. And wash it. Oh shit. At your service. Sir, I do need to make these, right? A good fit. Pretty sure, now, right? Just because you. Ah, the finest waste guard. Doesn't mean you should let yourself get knocked around more. Want something in particular? Wear it with pride. Be safe. Damn it. Whatever you need.
Let's see, my boy. What'll it be? Whatever you need, I'll create. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. I am, as always, <gasps> at your service. Alright, well, well, I guess yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave off. I'm gonna check out me for him real quick.
I can board some new stuff. Seems like you might need the help. There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You can use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. What do you suppose that means? So destroying the ravens free their spirits somehow. Good to know. Free. Well. Free of Odin's control, anyway. Fellas! Hey, bro. Tears had enough time to uh, find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old blood of war in them, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing policy. Ah! I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, and I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Kier believe it. <laughs> so, this whole spectral squirrel business. You can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines, all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality inside. Oh, no! My spectral form still allow me to see the outside world, albeit two slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm oh. standing right here, you know this freak. <sighs> I'd apologize for them, but where would it end? Carry on, my friend. I'm waiting at you already. Do you just like hearing the sound of the chimes? I suppose they do sound very pretty. Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes that much, I will allow you to indulge. Yes, you've done it. Well thrown. Ah, the sound of the chimes is not unpainful at this distance, so perhaps you could not? Already here. So... I see you're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional outburst, aren't you? Well, I'm not so easily swayed, my good man. Stop with the stupid chime! Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I am already here, Master Kratos. Ah, oh, glad 
glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little. You're disappointed in me. I never said that. You're kind that way. Do your eyes say everything? I have to get enough hope on you. Oh, you really must. This vision of me in your mind, where I'm as good as Odin is evil, the truth is always more complicated. To imagine it simple is dangerous. So you're really not going to help us? You'll have my wise and faithful counsel always. I wish I could do more. I really do. But for now, please, allow me to cook for you. You know what he's putting in that so-called stew of beef, don't you? Vegetables! Fucking vegetables! From out of the dirt! That just ain't right. Sir, I don't think I can... I can't do anything. Oh right, yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna cut it off right now. I'll be back presently. Um, as always, we appreciate the subscriptions, and I'm doing a giveaway of 500. And, um, we're over 100,000 views. I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, leave a comment, leave a like. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.